We are getting Karen's baby shower in full force very, very soon. And Sabrina, girl, you got options. What's good, y'all? She got Sister Erica Vane coming to see you right here on Erica Vane TV with another sister's video. And in this one, we are get, breaking down the synopsis for season seven, episode number 18 of Tyler Perry's Sisters. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my sister's content and conversation. If you're not new, welcome back, boo. You know how we do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. This this synopsis is short and sweet, but I think it has a lot of meat on the bone. Let's go ahead and, and read it real quick. Karen's baby shower is full of fun and healing until Gary shows up with a shocking announcement. Domini presents Sabrina with a surprising opportunity. And if you wanna read this synopsis or any other synopses, you can go over to acrovane.com. I have them written out for you, linked down below. Child, let's go ahead and talk about Mr. Domini. Mr. Domini Hendrix, right? From corporate, from bank corporate, who was doing a whole little interview series to highlight Sabrina in the corporate bank newsletter. He believes that she's a, a, a wonderful woman, an amazing woman, an elite woman. He was a little bit dejected by the fact, we saw this in the last episode, or at least it's mentioned, in the synopsis and in his description, right? Um, he was a little bit dejected because he found out that Sabrina had a man. So I'm curious as to if this surprise and opportunity has anything to do with the bank or something to do with romance. Because I think it's a wonderfully surprising opportunity to state your interest to someone. I get it. She's in a relationship and he knows it. But also she's in a raggedy ass relationship with a, that's going absolutely nowhere. And if you finna offer up something better... Even better, 10 times better, if you will. I believe that that would be a surprising announcement, a surprising opportunity. But you know, y'all, it's probably not that. I'm just throwing it out there because that's the way my brain works, and I would love that to be the case. I would love Rich to have a little bit of competition so I could see if he actually wants Sabrina because this whole just jumping her bones constantly and buying her little leather totes is not going, it's not going to do it for me. It's not going to do it for me. The opportunity might be um, for her to rise up in corporate, for her to get additional opportunities at the bank. Based off of the interview that they had the previous episode, I think that's where this is sparking. So when he did the interview, he was able to get better insight into some of the things that Sabrina might want or might need. And then he comes back to the table and offers her opportunity to help her get that. And you know what? This is the type of black man we need. This is the type of black man that we love. The ones that listen, learn, and move accordingly to assist another the black woman as she's navigating life trying to chase down success and her dreams we love to see it Dominique you already won in my book and I ain't even seen you yet ain't even heard you yet just by the character description in these two synopses because I did break down episode 17 synopsis if you missed it check it out yeah we you good you good in this hood I love this for you I love that Sabrina's in a space right now where she's also recalling or like reflecting on the fact that she doesn't speak up for herself and now that there's new characters entering her life that are like affirming who she is and what she believes and what she wants I think that this is going to be great and provide additional ammo for her to set hard boundaries within her life and to truly 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 go after what you want and honestly, that's the story of a lot of black women who don't give themselves permission. Hell, I've had seasons of it in my life. I'm in a season right now where I give myself permission to do a lot of shit. But I have had seasons in my life where I didn't give myself permission to act fully, to dream fully, to go for the thing. And if you listen to this, this is your reminder. This is your note from God. This is your something that you need to hear. That that thing that's gnawing at you, the thing that you really want, the thing that you really feel called to, the thing that really inspires you, that makes you feel passionate, makes you feel alive. Go after that thing, sis. You deserve. Okay? Yeah. Now, going to the top of the synopsis where it talks about Karen's baby shower is full of fun and healing. Child, maybe there's going to be some additional apologies. The previous episode synopsis talks about Karen getting to a place of solace with Danny and Zach. So, they both going to be at the baby shower. Maybe Fatima. Oh, oh, oh. Healing. Healing. We didn't see Zach go and make amends. Well, half ass make amends because he still tried to put it off like they both had differences and they both were, were being disrespectful when, in fact, Zach, your ass is a disrespectful one. Aaron came to you with nothing but grace and understanding this whole goddamn time and you behave like a child. But the healing, if we already got that in episode 17 with Danny and Zach, maybe this is Fatima coming to the baby shower with good vibes and support. Ooh. Interesting. Are we entering a new era? 
I wonder, hmm. The fun part makes sense because it's a baby shower. Everybody's celebrating. She got two babies. This is this is exciting. Aaron gonna be there gleeful, honey. Gleeful. It's gonna be gifts upon gifts upon gifts. Ain't nobody gonna be able to to fit in a damn salon, basically, based off of what I know Aaron's gonna be coming with. Truckloads of stuff. Love that high energy. This is his first baby, his first baby shower of his own, right? Love that. So I already can understand and, and guess where the fun is coming from. But the healing part, I'm like, who do she need to heal with? Only other person is Andrea Bonds, who ain't picked up the phone or call and or text in forever, but you over there asking about Michael. Is Michael okay? Is Karen your so-called best friend and sister okay? You ain't checked on her yet. Running around Atlanta all goofy over Gary and Penelope. You have yet to check on your goddamn pregnant sister. Pregnant with two kids. And you found out that they she pregnant by two different men and you still don't call her. And you found out from her app. Yeah, Fatima and Andrea, y'all need to be the ones with the heel and coming with the goddamn apologies. Those are my thoughts, y'all. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. The synopsis is a little short, so the video is a little short. But that means we can just go ahead and get to episode 19 synopsis because I got that for you too. I'm going to put it on the screen for you right here so you can click right into the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And before you go over to that video, drop your thoughts, babes. Hit the like button, drop your thoughts, and let's go ahead and talk about episode 19.